Hey folks, and welcome to the Pipnotic Symposium for the 18th of September, 2020. Uh, today we're just going to run through the hourly chart, um, have a quick look at uh, what's going on, if there's anything setting up. Uh, this is Friday, so I shan't put anything on. I'm just going to show you some potential trades that we could be eyeballing maybe early next week. So starting on the American dollar, uh, Swiss franc, um, we do have a couple of nice uh, uh, release points here. And we have this one here, which I like because price had an attempt to move down, but failed. So the beginning of the buy zone is just here. Um, on the four hour chart, it's a little bit clearer and you can sit pretty nicely just here. This is just a pretty a decent spot, I think, down here at the bottom. A lovely release, an attempt to move lower, a failure, a nice departure. And um, we had this little area accumulation pattern that was formed. It was tested, price moved down. And so this is just price having a difficult time moving down towards the origin. And so we could certainly um, flick this on and see if price manages to have a, a bounce at that level. Okay, so we'll see there. Let's have a look at the British pound. Let's start up here on the bigger time frames and then move down slowly. Um, so we had this little area here that was formed and it was tested. Now price is wriggling through it. Um, the pound and the American dollar are kind of interesting. I think it'd be interesting to wait until early next week to see how this, um, how the news kind of um, is massaged into the price of these two currencies because we had um, uh, kind of relatively bad news out of the UK. We had what can be considered to be maybe slightly um, uh, good news out of the US in that they aren't going to sink interest rates until 2023. And this was um, against expectations. And so we could expect that the American dollar would pick up. And so maybe selling the British pound American dollar um, would be a pretty interesting idea. So if we have a look on the hourly chart, see so if we have any of those really nice departures and we don't I mean looking at this there's not a whole lot um, that's super interesting I mean this one here is probably the most interesting and then uh, we have this one here how price release and the slingshot was pull back and then a departure but it's pretty messy up in here we have these micro errors which we'll probably see some small intraday reactions on but nothing too profound uh, going to the daily chart uh, you can see there's something uh, looks interesting up here we have this little price and how price rallied. We moved sideways for a little while. We tried to run high, higher, we failed. And uh, and now price just sold off very quickly. And so I think that we should um, um, see some, uh, see this, the price of the pound American dollar uh, depreciate once it moves back up into here. Let's have a look at the American dollar, sorry, the Euro American dollar. Let's start on the four hour chart. I mean, you can see here that and we're having a tough time moving below here. Testing, failing. We had this lovely um, uh, departure, distribution, departure, price tested it. We had another go and we failed. And so moving above this uh, presents maybe a bit of a challenge because we haven't been able to um, uh, completely remove this area of supply historically. And so the beginning of the sell zone is the high of this level here. So shorting once price comes up here, I think would be a, a, a potentially a good idea. Uh, let's have a look at the hourly chart. Um, yeah, here on the hourly chart, and we do have we do have this. Um, I don't like this so much because price has already been back to this area. Price had a difficult time moving below this. And so we could entertain selling, but I wouldn't do so until we get at least to the highs of this here, which is at the beginning of the sell zone for this area of supply just here. Um, the American dollar, Japanese yen. Still waiting for price to move up to this area here. It's pretty far away, but that doesn't mean it won't get there. It just means it'll take some time because I, I like how price left. We tried to move high and we failed and then we dumped. So the beginning of the sell zone is here. For this area of supply, you want your stop above all of this. You can just see that the um, that the American dollar was a, was weaning relative to the Japanese yen. I don't know how long this is going to continue for, but that's what we have for the time being. On the American dollar, Canadian dollar, um, let's have a look at the daily. See where we are. I think we're pretty low. Yeah, we managed to move through all of this, which is tested. So now you want to find the area that, that removed that. So let's just mark that off. We had a price rallied, slingshot was pullback, we left. Price tested that area, tested once, twice, 
slingshot and release and so we actually we have that area just here. This one here is the one that's responsible for driving price lower. Not a dramatic departure, but a departure uh, nonetheless. If we have a look on the four hours, see if we can find an interesting area. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of clarity here. Just a lot of sideways price movement. Departure, imbalance, rebalanced, imbalanced, not yet rebalanced. Um, I mean, price moved through from this little four hour area of supply here. The price came up, we left, and we slowly started to wriggle below. So I would be looking at least above the high of this pullback here, this area of tested supply here. We'll have to wait and see how that plans out next week. We'd like to look at the Aussie, American dollar. There's a nice one hour um, setup that I thought was pretty. This one down here, um, how price rallied we tried to come low, it failed. So we're having a difficult time moving below uh, this low here. I think that's a pretty interesting area for a uh, for a little snip out of the market from just this price point here. Just a very nice uh, kind of release high at two periods. Um, we had two times the size of this established within two periods. So that's a bit of a release. And we have that going on uh, below the beginning of this buy zone here, which I think is pretty interesting. Uh, let's have a look at one more pair, then we'll finish up. This is the, uh, the Euro British pound. Let's have a look here on this time frame. You can see we're moving higher. We have higher lows and higher highs. Currently reacted off this daily demand on the four hour chart. What do we have? Price is reacting at this daily area, also nested four hour. We had a lovely reaction there. Um, I'd be careful trading this because we did not manage to remove the obstacles in the road. I'm expecting the price is gonna maybe want to wriggle a little bit lower. If we zoom out a little bit and have a look at this. This is just a really nice departure, slingshot departure. Price had a lovely poke up, and, up into there and then a huge departure. Um, what I do like is, I like this one down here. Um, we had this area here as well, which is like fawn, price rallied. We tried to come back to it, but we failed. We managed to move higher from here. So from this, um, from the low of this pullback here, for this area of demand, and this one here, essentially, this is where kind of the origin of the move. So that's what we have there. And I'm gonna leave it at that.